Hey guys, this is Brandon from buildingwithdairy.com. Today we're going to be talking about how many almonds there are in almond milk. We're also going to compare almond milk to normal cow's milk. And uh, stick around to the end of the video, we're actually going to make some almond milk. So first off guys, I have, like I said here, a carton of unsweetened almond milk. This is the lowest calorie version. This is just the great value Walmart brand. And here I have a half gallon of whole milk. I realized after the fact that the better comparison of milk to almond milk is actually 1%. So let's act like this is 1%. All the numbers I talk about are gonna be about 1% milk. But uh, here is uh, an example I have whole. So first off, let's talk about price. So I went to Walmart today, got these two bottles. The almond milk here was $1.89 for a half gallon. And the milk here was $1.09. So right off the bat, you can see that there's about an 80 cents difference between these two milks. Here I have about a cup of milk poured into different glasses. Um, in each cup of milk, I'm just going to talk quickly about their nutritional quality. So, in one glass of 1% cow's milk, there's about 110 calories to 120 calories. It has 2.5 grams of fat. I'll put up some numbers here. 2.5 grams of fat, uh, about 8 grams of protein, and 12 grams of lactose. For our almond milk, in one cup, it has 30 calories, two and a half grams of fat, so the same as the milk, one gram of protein, and one gram of carbohydrate. So when you go through, obviously almond milk is a lot lower calorie, but if you look at the nutritional quality again, almond milk is a lot lower calorie because there's a lot less stuff in there. You know what's zero calories? Water. So if you add a lot of water to milk, I can make it lower calorie in a, in a glass of milk, but what are you getting in that glass of milk? So we've done the math. If you look in the link of the description, you can go to an, our, an article on our website, buildingwithdairy.com, where we break down by calorie, by protein, by fat, by carbohydrate, exactly how many almonds are in one glass, one eight ounce glass of almond milk. And the answer may surprise you. <clears throat> it's 4.3. So here I have a little dish of almonds. There are 4.3 almonds in here. Milk, on the other hand, has a little bit more solids than that. When we looked at the nutritional quality, there was obviously more stuff in there. So I have weighed out here milk powder to represent the amount of milk solids that are actually in the glass of milk. So for 1% milk, there's about an ounce or about 11 grams of powder here that represent the milk solids. So to compare the two more directly, milk, 1% milk has about 88 to 89% water, so there's a lot of water, but all the rest is milk solids, the protein, the carbs, the fats, and here in our almond milk, it's about 98.12% water. So if we're paying 80 cents more for this, what are we paying for? I'll tell you what we're paying for. Let's take a quick look at the nutritional facts panel of this almond milk, okay? The first ingredient is almond milk, in parentheses, filtered water, almonds. The second ingredient is calcium carbonate. The third ingredient is sea salt. The fourth, potassium citrate, sunflower lecithin, gel and gum, vitamin A palmitate, vitamin D3, alpha tocopherol, <clears throat> and that's it. So, there's a long laundry list of ingredients here on almond milk. We'll read what's in milk here. 
Ingredients, milk and vitamin D3. So a little bit shorter, a little bit easier to understand. Uh, let's talk a little bit about what some of these ingredients are in almond milk. Obviously, like we talked about earlier, almond milk is basically water with a couple almonds thrown in and blended. Um, so in order to, for there to be any nutritional quality at all, they have to add in a bunch of stuff. So they add in calcium carbonate to add in calcium. They add in potassium citrate so that you can get some uh, potassium in there. They add vitamin A and vitamin D and vitamin E. Also, there's something worthwhile to drink in this one cup of almond milk. It has a couple other ingredients in there. The sea salt. Salt helps bring out flavors. Uh, we're going to make almond milk here in just a second, but when you make almond milk at home with no salt in it, really bland. Basically it tastes like water. But the salt help gives it a little bit of flavor. Um, and then we also have gel and gum in there and gel and gum. Basically almond milk is just a suspension of particles. So they grind down the almonds to super fine par particles. And the gel and gum helps it from not settling out in the container. So it's a, it's a stabilizer. It helps stabilize the particles in the liquid so it doesn't separate out um, when you pour it out in the grocery store. So let's go ahead and make some almond milk so we can see what it's like. We'll mix in the water, we'll mix in the almonds, we'll filter it out, and then we'll taste it side by side with this almond milk here. All right, so in order to make almond milk, we're gonna combine one cup of water with our 4.3 almonds here. Weighing stuff out is more accurate than volumetric, like using a cup measure. So we're just gonna weigh out eight ounces, which is how much, how many ounces are in a cup. Okay, and then we're gonna go ahead and add in our almonds here. One, two, three, four, and a little bit. Cap it off. As you can see now in its whole form, almond milk looks delicious. A quick comment here. Most of the time if you look up a recipe for how to make almond milk at home, a lot of people will either soak their almonds or roast their almonds. This helps extract more almond material from the almonds. Uh, I was gonna use the word juice. Some people uh, argue that you are kind of juicing almonds here. Um, but we're just gonna use raw almonds today. Um, I don't think there's that big of a difference for this video. So let's go ahead and put it on the blender. And we'll let it blend for about a minute. Okay, so it's been about a minute. We have now fully blended our almonds in there. Uh, as you can see, there's skin and stuff floating around there. So almond milk would normally go through some kind of filtration process. And the best thing we can do is cheesecloth. So we're gonna pour the almond milk through some cheesecloth and uh, see what we get. Here we have an empty glass. We're gonna go ahead and lay out our cheesecloth, which is freshly laundered uh, across here. And we're just gonna go ahead and pour in our almond milk. This will filter out all the skin, all the, the fiber, um, all the stuff that would be left in the almonds, left over from the almonds. So as it filters here, you'll see that we get out the milky, milky white liquid. Go ahead to give it a squeeze. So there you have it, almond milk. One thing I want to show you though is what is left over. So obviously we can't convert all of the almond into almond milk. And we are left over with this almondy paste. Okay, so now here we have the almond milk we made here versus the almond milk in the store. We'll take a, clo a close-up shot, but as you can see, the one at the store is a little bit more opaque. It's a little bit wider. It's also a little bit more of a brown color. They probably do a better job grinding up the, the husk, the hull of the nut, the outer skin, uh, which gives it more of that brown color. 
as well as theirs looks a little bit more white. The calcium that they add makes it look white, as well as the gel and gum, if it's suspending the particles the way it is, that'll also make it look more turbid. Uh, let's go ahead and do a taste test. This is the store-bought almond milk. It tastes a little bit like almonds. It's got a low salty taste. The viscosity or the thickness of it, it has a little bit of viscosity. It's thinner than skim milk. On a scale of viscosity, uh, when we do train panel profiling, we have these set values that we give um, to be able to differentiate samples. On that scale, this is probably like a 1.6, 1.6. Skim milk's like a 1.9. Heavy cream's like a 3. Um, so it's pretty watery. Okay, now to try the almond milk we made. It pretty much tastes exactly the same. It's a little bit thinner, probably like 0.1 thinner. And part of that has to do with the gum and stabilizer that they add that actually gives some thickness to this beverage. Uh, it's a little less salt because if you remember they added some sea salt, we didn't add any salt. But all in all, it's pretty similar. So how many almonds are in a glass of almond milk? 4.3. That means almond milk is 98.12% water. You're paying 80 cents more per half gallon. For the store brand, the price only goes up. I think silk almond milk goes for about $3. Uh, almond Breeze is somewhere around there. Califia Farms is a little bit more expensive and their package is a little bit smaller. That's it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. If you liked the video, make sure to hit the like button. Subscribe to our channel to be able to see more videos like this. And if you go down to the link in our description, you'll find an article about how many almonds are in almond milk, as well as another article that details of what, of what ingredients there are in almond milk and compares the different major brands of almond milk. And you can find both of those at www.buildingwithdairy.com. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.